Hey guys, you watching? Because you want to know, Lee. My name is AJ. We're in the dark, but welcome back to another episode of Let's Build an Alcatraz-style prison. Uh, we're on the second floor currently. <coughs> second floor currently. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. And uh, on the second floor, we've got the canteen and the kitchen. And obviously, we need to do some cells as well. I think I'm actually going to divide that one up and take that one away. Have a big one in the middle. So I've just sort of been placing down where I want the cells to be. Um, on this floor, at least down the side here, seeing how close I was to the entrance to the canteen, uh, things like that. So we've got a double one, single one, double one, single one, single one, single one, single one. And on that side, we've got single one, single one, double one, single one. Blah, blah, blah. And um, I also forgot, uh, a couple of you guys correctly pointed out, that the bottom layer of the walls should be stone brick and not the andesite and gravel sort of texture. So I've rechanged all of that. And it, oops. And it now looks a lot better. I can't do the ones on the outside because obviously they're the exterior walls. Now, um, should we start off with the canteen? I suppose we should start off with the canteen. I was just sort of doing that bit off camera. I will be doing some cells in the middle though because I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, if I can fit them in because we've got... I think that wall is actually closer than what it used to be or on the ground floor but or on the floor below. I don't know. I'll have to go down and uh, have a look again. It might not be because that's the... That's where the shower block was. Now, we might be okay. So, this shouldn't be too hard, though. This should be pretty simple and straightforward. We need some sort of table block, and we need some sort of seat block. Now, for the seats, I think we're going to do benches. We're going to make sure that either they're metal or that they're wooden. I think I want, if I'm going to do them wooden, they're going to be spruce and not dark oak or normal oak. And if they're going to be metal, I'm going to make them out of the stone slab so they're nice and clean. For the table itself, I think we probably want to have a metalish greyish table. And I don't want to use fences. I think we're going to use cobblestone walls with uh, carpets on top or pressure plates. Now, the only thing with pressure plates is that they don't join up together. So if we've done like four. Oh, I, can't, I can't put weighted pressure plates on a cobblestone wall. Who knew? You can't put... Are you sure? Apparently. Apparently so. I thought you could. I must have been wrong. Anyway, I wasn't going to do that. Anyway. I don't think that they, they joined up properly. But as far as like the top texture goes, the only real... Um, uh, the only real block that we can go for is carpet, uh, which isn't a bad thing. I think we'll go, go with the darker one so it stands out against the rest of the room. These go on, right? Yeah, good. Uh, but they join up really nicely as well. So we want them in basically long lines. And, um, oh, and we need the serving area. I forgot about that. Yeah, okay. Jump, and we got that one. And we shall have... This sort of coming along here, and then I wanted to go a little bit wider, like that. Trap, oops, reap, trap, door. I think maybe the birch one would probably be the best. Oops. Just so we can get through. And I think I want glass. Panes, maybe white ones. Like that and like that. Uh, we're going to need to have string. And we're going to want to have some sort of carpet. I think I might go with a lighter one, like a light grey though here. And we want that dark one, that dark stuff back here. Uh, that one. So we want the darker stuff on here. And that's where the food is sort of given. And then we want lighter carpet on top as like a, a, a cover. Now we can put obviously carpet straight on top of carpet here. But on the back side, I think I want string to hold the back up. It doesn't look terrible like that. But let's just see what it looks like with the string. If I had string going across here, that allows me to place the carpet on there. I don't think I laid the carpet on there. I don't like it. I don't like it. I think I like that better. Oh, yeah, and then the food. These would usually be like trays and just sort of slide your tray along uh, as you went through. It would be nice if we could have something like that 
on the front here. Like, that's where you slide your tray along. We've all seen it in the prison movies, you know. As it goes along and you sort of get your mushy peas and then you get your, like, your potato and your drink. And then you might get a little dessert. It's like a really terrible, like, cranberry thing or something. Do I want to have this block just to slide it along? Or do I like it just with the... I think I like that, yeah. I think that looks pretty neat. Yeah, that looks pretty neat. Anything on the back? On the back wall? Like we could have a brew stand for some hot drinks. We're sort of being a little bit kind here, aren't we? A little bit maybe too kind with our, our kitchen stuff. <laughs> they should just get the gruel and they should just eat it in the cells. Uh, we'll have cobblestone walls back, please. Yeah, that one. And um, tables. Now, anything else you serve up. It's cooked in there. You serve it up. You eat it. Uh, you get your cutlery from maybe like over here somewhere. Like there'll be a little like pot with the cutlery in. And then you go and get sit down. Okay, yeah, no, no. I don't think we need anything else. So, if I put down, just for the moment, just like a little five length table with a nice dark top on it. Whoops. Is all I can say to that. Fluorescent. And then we've got two choices. We either do this as the seats, which does blend in with the table. I don't dislike it, but what does... It might be a good thing, but what does the spruce one look like? Oh, it's a tough one. It really is a tough one. If we do the walls on here... The carpet above it. Now we've got the left one with the wood or the right one with the stone or, or with the grey. I'm tending towards the grey one. It might be a split decision. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If there's enough uh, the other way, then of course I'll change it. But I think I like... I like it being grey. And it looks like... I remember at my school... You might have the same thing. At my school, in my canteen... My tables looked exactly like this. They had they were all like this metal... And then they had this dark grey top. And what they could do... Is they'd be like a long flat table. They'd, they'd span like the length of the whole canteen. They were huge. And then... Uh, the canteen was also used as a... Uh, Sort of like an assembly room sometimes. So what they could do is to create room and to make it easy to sweep and clean. The tables would fold up in the middle. And become really, really thin but quite tall. And then you could uh, push them. They had the wheels on the bottom and push them to the side of the rooms to create more space in the middle. And they looked exactly like this. And they were all sort of connected. And they had real weird hinges and foldy bits in them uh, to make it all work. But I think that's pretty good. I think I can maybe get another one perfectly in here of course we can our numbers just seem to work out like that at the moment so we've got uh well, how many can this seat that's they can seat 10 people per table there's five seats on either side so it's 10 20 30 people so far that's not too bad and then we can have a little bit of a break in the middle i think i'll give a little bit more of a break like that so this is 40 people now we have 40 cells we had 40 cells on the bottom floor so maybe they could do it like split like each uh, oop, uh that one yeah four five i'd probably make this one longer six seven eight like that um we could do it so each uh each floor has a separate dinner time and then we don't have too many people come down in here uh, all at once uh, I'm sure that there's probably a thing that happens uh, in real prisons like that. Especially in the bigger ones. I can't see them having one huge kitchen. Maybe they've got more than one. Who knows? So, I don't think that we've really got any more space to have any more chairs. We need, you know, a walking space. But we've got 40, and then 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56 people this can seat. I don't think that that's too bad, right? I don't think that that's too bad. Any posters or pictures? Not really. Any shelves? No, actually, 
Shelves. We can definitely have some shelves maybe behind. I don't know what... Shell? What is that? Tank shell. Okay. We uh, we won't be experimenting with that because I've got a feeling I will probably end up blowing something up terribly. One, two, three, four. That's in line with the counter then. We can still get round everything. It looks really neat. Yeah, I like that. Are we have in here. Not with a carpet above it. Okay. Okay, not a problem. I like it there though. Just some nice little shelves behind there. That's good. So, out here now. This is where the main cells are. If I just, I just want to double check going down a floor here. And around this side. It looks like maybe that we are in line. Let me just have a look outside. These doors are so cool that we could just fly through them. Does it go down? No, it is all the same. So we should be able to fit the cells in the middle of the second floor like we did on the bottom first floor. If we, uh, some door open. We head through here. We've got uh, one, two, three, four blocks between the two. So if we had uh, stone bricks. One, two, three, four. If we had that one there, this is the space that you walk around the back with. Then we have one, two, three, four, like that. And that's one cell. One, two, three, four. That's the other cell. And then the middle, we've got one, two, three. We've got five blocks. How does that happen? How have I gained a block? Or do I have five on this side? I might have had five on this side. No, one. Oh, I do down here. It's four here, but it's five down there. Okay, fair enough. So, uh, we've got two choices for that. We can either just have uh, four on this side and five on that side. Or we can have a double thick wall in the middle. Like we could do that. And now it's the cells are all still the same length, but we've got four blocks and four blocks. Now, if I put some glowstone down, because i got a feeling it's a little bit difficult to see. We do get thinner here, which is where we're going around the uh, redstone, the very simple redstone for the um, showers below us. So we can't really do the cells too far without really, really limiting, in fact, going down to a too wide walkway between. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful here. If we had one cell there, one cell there. I think that's about all we can do. Then it leaves us this space to go in between. However, what we can do is on this side, we can continue the cells down a little bit further. Let's have a double one here. And then a single one. And then a single one. I could fit another one in there. I think that looks a little bit cramped. I think I like a little bit more room. We'll have to see when the walls go up. I'll, I can always stick another one down. So, um, there are no windows on this side either. I don't think I've done the windows at all, really, on this outside. I think I've only done them on one side, didn't I? There's the, yeah, there's definitely something going on with these windows. That's funny. So, we only need windows on this side and on the other side, I think. And I think I started the windows on this side, so we should easily be able to continue them on. Yeah, I've got them there. And then... Oops. It's that, isn't it? Yeah, that one. And... Oops. There. And there. So it's that one. That one. That one. That one. That one. I thought there would be a few that done that. That one, that one, that one. Oops. That one, that one, that one, that one. How did I do that wrong? And that one, that one, that one, and that one. Okay, uh, down this side, I don't think that there's any cells. Um, that's the shower, the shower's here. We're currently on this floor. And this is the top of the shower, the redstone part of it. And uh, then we've got the canteen in the kitchen, which we don't want any windows on, I don't think. Oh, I think we've actually got some windows on one side, don't we? I think over here, 
Or do we not? Yeah, we do. Just here. We've got like three windows. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I don't think we want any windows anywhere else, though. No. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty neat. Let's go back through. Ooh, come on, fly. Fly faster. So. Maybe give us a little bit more light in here as well. Now, let's get our wand. And we want to go there to there. S replace air with 112. 13, wasn't it? Yes. So, get our mixed combination wall up on the cells super, super quickly. Now, I can't remember the exact number of cells that we had down on the first floor, or on the ground floor. I think it was 40-something. 40 46 seems to be sort of a number that's sort of ringing out to me. I, I don't think that's quite right, though. That one. Good. That one. Ooh, camera go funny. <laughs> that one. It's because I've got to take my hand off the mouse every time. Just to make it quicker for me. There. Oops. We will get light in here very, very shortly, guys. And on that side. And then a few more cells around here. That one. That one. Double one. Oh, yeah, and then the, the main wall to close everything up with. I love the combination of blocks that we're using on here. So far, it's working really, really well. Okay, everything's all closed in. Oh, yeah. Um, how did I do that? It goes to one block after the bottom step, which would be that one. Just get that out of the way. There we go. And then we're up to the next floor and the staircase is already in to go in next. Okay, wonderful. That looks really, really neat. Definitely loads of headroom to be able to get through. It doesn't look like you're going to bash your head when you come down. There's like a really nice sort of uh, clear way uh, to be able to go through. So let's get some more beds down. Oh, iron bars. Beds. Uh, jail door. Stone brick and lever. And I think that's everything that we need, isn't it? I think so. So we want iron bar, iron bar, iron bar, iron bar. Should really do this before you put the walls up, and then that way you don't have to like keep ducking around each wall. So you'll come out and then go back in again. Whoops. My uh, quick finger then. And, oh, and the kitchen. Don't forget the kitchen ones as well. That one. It's really nice looking out of the windows and being able to see stuff. Even though it's just trees at the moment. But uh, on some other areas, you can see some buildings. You can see some other stuff. You can see freedom. That's what you can see. <laughs> I can't get over there. There we go. We'll go around. Okay, beds then. So we want uh, the, the, that. That isn't a cell. This is a three-wide one. I could make that into a cell. Oops. Should we make that into a cell? It's very close to the canteen. But what else am I going to put there, I suppose? Do that one and that one. Oops. That one and that one. Hey, yeah, why not? Why not? Okay, and then what side were the doors on? Were the doors on the left or the right? They were on the left of the single cells. Door. They were in the middle of the double ones. So like that, middle, side, left side. Always try and keep it symmetrical or always try and keep it the same throughout your entire build, uh, throughout all the floors. Otherwise, you will sort of just subtly notice it. It's quite weird. Put these blocks on top. Oops. Oops. Have enough time. Oh, we're nearly out of time again. I can't believe how fast the time goes on these episodes at the moment. I don't know what goes on. I just have so much fun. and <laughs> Before I know it, it's gone. That one. And that one. Put the levers. Oops. Put the levers on. Should have put the beds down first. That would have been another smart decision to do. It's okay. We'll do the beds before the iron bars. And that one. That one. That one. That one. 
So beds, there's three different ways that we can do it. We can do it with the bed here. Or, oh, there, these ones are always the same. The double ones are always the same. So you have four beds. Two of them are bunk beds like that. You can either have one bed on the side or you can have one bed along the back like that. Having just uh, like a few different designs in there, even if it's just the direction of the bed, uh, really does make a difference when you walk past it. Like if I look in here and I walk past, you can sort of see that they're all a little bit different. And I sort of like that. That one, that one, that one, that one. These double ones could be a little bit awkward to do. <laughs> I'm surprised that um, I don't have a bunk bed mod. I'm sure that there probably is one. I'm sure there's a mod that will give you a bunk bed. If it works or not, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be so sure. And that one, that one. So how many can this fit then? This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oop. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Forgot about those ones. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So we've got 29 on this floor and 40 something on the floor below. I don't think that's too bad. How did I do the lighting inside the cells, though? Did I have... Oh, yeah, I used those beautiful lamps. Oops. No, no, no not that. Uh, let's put these up then before we put the um, iron across. So these are always just on the side of the windows, on the, on the right side of each window. So whenever there's an iron bar, put our lamp onto uh, one block to the right of it. It keeps it all uniform. And what is it in the double ones? Yeah, that one and that one, just to keep it the same. Even though there's no window there, it just keeps it the same then. So that lights up the cells inside nicely. The solitary ones are going to be really fun to do because they're really small. There's just nothing in them. It's, I don't, in fact, some solitary, I don't know if it's all solitary, but I know some solitary don't even have a bed. It, it's that bad. They don't even have a bed inside. Can't place the armbar straight onto the door. Oops. That's so cool that the door like opens up into the bars as well. Uh, on here, it doesn't quite open up into the wall. But it still works. That one. That one. That one. I'll do two on this side. The single ones are definitely quicker and easier to do than the double ones. So, the double ones give you so many more beds, though. They give you, because we can only fit two beds, because the dividing wall would be down the middle there, to give us two single rooms. So, uh, the double ones are very, very good on getting the number of beds up, like your, your uh, maximum population. So, uh, if you're building your own prison, prison, bear that in mind. The more double rooms you have, the bigger your prison can be, uh, number-wise. The more that you can hold. But, the more fights you're probably going to have. Because I don't think they like to be... I don't think they like to share rooms, do they? I think prisoners like to have their own rooms. Just like we do outside of prison. No one likes to share a room with someone. Okay, beautiful. Uh, fluorescent lights. Fluorescent, capital letters. Uh, how do we do them in the floor below? I'm trying to match everything up. So we just had two down the sides. Okay, we could do that one first. That's easy to do. So we have, uh, let's start up at this end. One, two. And how many was it between? One, two, three, four blocks between. And the first one is two blocks back. Easy. Shum, up the stairs. So we want two blocks back. That's only one. And then one, two, three, four there. 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 Beautiful. Works out brilliantly. Two blocks before the end again, just by luck. And the same on this side. 
two blocks before the end that one and that one one two three four that one and that one this one isn't quite as long is it one two three four that one whoops like that and i think what we might do is i think we we might pretty much make up the rest don't we how do how did i light up that bit though i need to go down and check again Ugh. I just had one line of three. It's a random way to do it, but it works. So if we come back up here, we want in the, oh, we don't have a middle point though. We've got two middle points on ours. So we're going to do a line of four instead because we doubled it up, didn't we, on our one? Okay, take away those. We can then pretty much randomly uh, place these lights where we want. So we'll have a line of three here, uh, keep it in line. We'll do a line of five, so it's nice and wide. I probably should match that up with that, actually. Like that. Yeah, that's the neatest way to do it, then. Everything's all the same distance apart. Everything's all lit up. That is the second floor completed, guys. All the beds, what was it, like 27 or something beds uh, on this floor, 40 something. So that's like six, between 60 and 70 total uh, beds. I reckon we're going to, we're definitely going to be over 100. We might be close to the sort of 150 mark, depending on what we um, have on the next couple of floors. If you guys enjoyed it, then hit that like button. If you already, then feel free to subscribe. We should see you on the next episode where we were on th uh, floor three of four.